Welcome, bienvenue to the Institut de l'Audition, located here in the Basti area of Paris, next to the Opera House. Dedicated to auditory neuroscience, we are the newest research center of Institut Pasteur. The Institute's founding director, Professor Christine Petit, is renowned for her genetic approach to the physiology of hearing, which began in the 1990s. Her team localized the first two genes responsible for profound congenital deafness in humans by studying families in isolated areas, mainly in Mediterranean regions. By extending this approach throughout the Mediterranean area, her laboratory identified dozens of genes related to deafness. In the next decades, her team of researchers then uncovered the pathological mechanisms associated with mutations in these genes, developing an interdisciplinary approach to decipher the cellular and molecular mechanisms of sound processing. And that's why, in 2014, at the initiative of the Fondation pour l'Audition, the Institut de l'Audition, also called IDA to make it simpler, was conceived to scale up this approach in collaboration with scientists in basic and clinical auditory research. The center is housed in a brand new building of 4,000 square meters. It gathers 100 research staff, including more than 40 PhD students and postdocs of 14 different nationalities. Together, biologists, neuroscientists, physicists, vets, medical students, audiologists, and engineers implement multidisciplinary approaches to better understand how our hearing system functions. How are sounds encoded by our ears? How are they processed by the brain? What makes speech signals so special? Why is music so emotional? And why are some sounds so unpleasant? These are a few of the questions we tackle every day at the IDA. Hearing is the most common sense to be impaired in humans, affecting more than 6% of the world population. This prevalence will only increase with the aging of the global population and our increasing overexposure to noise. These impairments may lead to social isolation and neurocognitive decline. Thanks. Still, many hearing deficits are poorly understood tinnitus, or the perception of phantom sounds. Hyperacusis, an abnormal sensitivity to sounds and noise, and the mechanisms underlying the strong relationship between premature hearing loss and dementia. The IDA aims at better understanding all these hearing disorders and designing innovative treatments. To achieve these goals, it brings in one place, cell cultures, animal models, and organoids cutting-edge microscopy to analyze modifications in the cochlea and the brain. Electrophysiological recordings and multi-photon imaging to record neural populations in hearing models. Electroencephalography to study global neural function in humans. The Institute conceives tomorrow's treatments for deafness, including several gene therapy trials developed using bioinformatics, surgery, and injection setups to test their efficiency, and behavioral setups to characterize hearing restoration. We work closely with the Center for Research and Innovation in Human Audiology, which bridges the IDA with Institut Pasteur, bringing together researchers and medical staff to optimize the translation of research findings to clinical applications to develop new diagnosis tools for hearing deficits. Shh. And to provide medical follow-up for future treatments. At the IDA, we aim to promote and accelerate research in auditory neuroscience through interactions at the national and international levels with leading research centers and universities, organizing scientific conferences and specialized courses. Together, Together we, we fight, fight deafness. deafness.